Welcome back to this guy's scratch. Today we're going to be testing out the Nico HVLP Mini on this bumper here. This is probably a little small for this much area, but I get multiple requests for guns that work with small compressors. So if you have a small compressor, you need a small gun. This is about as big a job as you're going to tackle with a small gun. So all this coming up. this live this afternoon so let's wash it up get some paint on it I'm just using a final wash solvent we'll take any wax or residue or just a general cleanup for, for, for painting so right now I'm just running the tack cloth over this to pick up any excess dust, make sure it's good and clean before it's painted. This gun was $20 on Amazon, I've seen it as low as $13.99 on Walmart.com. So what I'm doing here, I'm opening up the fan all the way. It's a mini gun so you need every bit of fan you can get. And I set the air pressure at about 27 psi. And the fluid nozzle is opened up all the way and just one quarter turned back when you can feel the trigger. So right now I'm putting my first coat over my primered area. And it will take three or four coats to cover primer. Take your time, let it set up. So what I'm putting on here is base coat and I will put the clear coat on after I conceal the, the primered area. You have to put as many coats on until you can't see that primer no more. There's no reason why I can't give you some technique while uh, we're reviewing this gun. So this third coat, I'm just concentrating on the primered area. I'm just putting a coat of paint on the primered area. So this is my fourth and final coat, but you have to keep putting the base on until you can't see through that paint no more. So you can see here there's no uh, primer showing through, so there's, this will uh, make for a uh, good color. No.
So I used 8 ounces of base to get the color on, which meant, means I filled up the gun twice, it's a 4 ounce cup, and I mixed up 12 ounces of clear, now I'm putting the clear coat on. Strangely enough, this clear coat is available at Walmart.com as well. It's a Speed Coat European Clear. Lays down a nice finish. It's pretty cheap. And uh, there's links in the description for uh, all the products used as well. For a small gun, you can get enough product on it. It has a one millimeter tip, and you can, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, a lot of fluid coming out of the, the cap. All in all, I'm thoroughly impressed with the Nico HVLP Mini. Uh, laid on a fantastic coat of paint for a small gun. Remember, this gun is designed for small work, for doing door jams, touch-up work. Uh, bumper cover like this is probably at the limit of what you should be able to do with it, but you can paint a fender, a bumper cover. You just have to take your time and really watch what you're doing. But as for a touch-up gun, I give it uh, two thumbs up really a two thumbs up. I, I've used more expensive guns that didn't work any better. So uh, remember when you're buying a paint gun, buy the gun that suits your needs. 
If you have any questions about this paint gun, you can leave it in the comment section down below. We will leave a link to this gun in the description. With fantastic gun, the results speak for themselves. So thanks again for stopping by this guy's garage. You can hit that subscribe button. It'll be right there. You can watch another video right around here somewhere. And until the next time, folks, this guy...